issue with the front seats reclining on a 2006, it seems unique to 2006 and 2007 XK Jaguar. Now what happens is the, the seat, once you disconnect the battery, this is how it's caused. Once you disconnect the battery, then you lose, you still have your recliner, which goes back, but it won't come back up. Nothing you do will bring it back up. So it'll go down, it won't come back up. And the reason being is it's programmed in the, programmed in the module to do that. Now what you do to cure it is you need to get another module, seat module, which is that one, which you can see, possibly see the part number there. Or I've put it on the back so it's much clearer. Now this comes out of a 2008 to 2010 XF Jaguar, which is exactly the same module except it's updated. So you don't suffer with this seat recline problem, leave it with the issue. So first of all, you take the seat belt out and this part just literally unclips. So you unclip it, take the seat belt out and keep it back down. Lift the seat up. You have the two plastic covers that are clipped onto the back of the seat. Runners. Which you take off and then you undo the two 15mm bolts that are under it. These are the two bolts that I've already loosened off. You take one out, put it on the seat, and take the other one out. Drop it on the seat. Fully back. Sometimes it's handy to lift the front up so the front of the seat comes up, and you use an E, an E12 socket to take the two front bolts out, or if you haven't got a need to old socket, just use a 10 mil ring spanner. I've already loosened those off, so they come out. Like so. Now it's not necessary, if you have the seat forward like that, so it's clipped forward, it's not necessary to take the seat out of the car because it's heavy and it's awkward and you can scratch the panels. You just tilt it over. Like so. Right, we have four connectors to take off. This is on the sides. It's a little bit stiff. These are on the front. Pop them out. Pop them out. Take that one out when the module is off. And this is the old module and to remove it we've got two torque screws each side. This one and then we can take that one. Which you can slide that bottom one out. And it's a lot easier to take this plug out now. There we go. That's your old module. Take your new module. Slide that back in. The screw at the bottom. And then put your bolt in at the top. Tighten the bottom one up and put your plugs back in. Make sure you go in the bottom one. 
Next one. Next one. Let me put that. That one. That is always a bit stiff to push in. And that's it. That's your module fitted. Just tip it in. Be careful not to catch the runner on the steering wheel. Just put it in position. Place your bolts in. Put your seat forward and you put your rear bolts in. Put your clips back on over the seat runners, clip them on, and that's it. And the seat should come up, which it does and go down. Yep, and then that's the job done. Just to clarify, you can have these old modules reprogrammed without removing them. You just, if you've got the diagnostic equipment to reprogram the seats, like a mongoose or something, then it can be just plugged in and you can reprogram it through your computer. If you don't have that, then you have to pay someone to reprogram the seat. But fitting the later module is a permanent fix. Whenever you disconnect the battery, you won't have to worry about your seat recline not working properly.